We are about to move into my very favorite season here in Florida, and that's summer. I know a lot of people don't like summer in Florida because it's hot, because it rains. I love the rain. I love a good thunderstorm. June 1st starts hurricane season here in Florida. June 1st is the very beginning of the official hurricane season. That doesn't mean hurricanes won't happen outside of that, but hurricane season in Florida runs from June 1st to November 30th, so it's really pretty long. Um, they do have, at the very beginning, and the reason I'm doing this video now is because Florida does a hurricane sales tax holiday for almost, I think it's over a week. And this year it's running from May 28th to June 6th, and it's basically tax-free hurricane preparedness items under $750 or something like that. So um, generators, but not like generators that will power your whole house, um, you know, within reason. So things you'll get a tax break on, basically tax-free weekend. So I wanted to kind of talk about what's in our hurricane kit and then the things that we do before a hurricane to actually prepare for one. Because hurricanes are different from other natural disasters because you get notice that it's coming. You know that, you know, it's, it's likely that you're gonna get be impacted in some way. You're probably gonna lose power. Of course, you don't really know how bad it's gonna be, if it's actually gonna hit you. We were not prepared for Irma to be like that at all. You know, so you kind of get some warning. We moved here from Missouri, so tornadoes are kind of like lightning. You never know when they're gonna strike and you never know how big or how bad they're gonna be or how long they're gonna last. It's just like, hello, here I am. You know, that's sort of immediate, you know? But anyway, hurricane kits are different because with hurricanes, you could be out of power for days, could be weeks. Um, you never, hi, you never really know how long you're going to be out of power. We do have a generator out in our garage. We keep it out there. It does not live in the house. It lives in the garage. It has, it use, it runs by gasoline. Okay. So it doesn't stay in the house. Um, it, this is our hurricane kit over here and I'm going to just show you a few of the things in here. We have a lot of the same thing, just multiples of the same items. These are battery powered lanterns. Notice how it turns on and off. Um, the battery powered ones are nice. This one is a wind up one and we like it, you know, because you can, you crank it and turn it on. Um, it's sticky and I don't know why, but it has the button to turn on and off and you charge it by cranking it up. We have tons of extra batteries in here and we also have some a couple of these emergency radios and this one has a USB output and I don't know why it does I it's also from Radio Shack is Radio Shack even still a thing um, anyway some other things in our hurricane kit that are kept not in this box because we just have basically tons of water and a first aid kit and some batteries and lanterns and plastic bags to keep electronics and things dry um, we keep charcoal in the garage with our generator and our you know little tank of gasoline but we, we keep charcoal out there because we do have a charcoal grill yay so that means we can cook food you know we can't really like reheat things um, but we can cook meat or something because if we have a freezer full of steaks and then we have a hurricane, we're gonna be running our generator all the time to keep our freezers running, right? So if we can get some stuff taken out of a freezer, it's great, like steaks, we can grill them, you know, because we have charcoal, and so we can cook, and that's nice. Uh, we do have some extension cords, but those are in a different place. We keep those all together, and we do have a long extension cord that we keep with the generator because it plugs into the generator. We can plug in our refrigerator, and you know, we can charge phones that way if we need to. Um, we do have some non-perishable food items here. We don't keep a lot of that stuff because we do gro go grocery shopping fairly frequently, so it's not something we're so worried about doing, but we do have some things on hand that we can eat, you know, like cans of soup and cans of vegetables and stuff if we need to. We always have our external phone batteries just because it's nice to not have to plug your phone into the generator if you don't need to. We could also plug our phones into our cars to charge them, but the external phone batteries, again, so much easier. And then the last thing I wanna talk about is a tarp and tape. 
So we have, uh, when we first moved down here, we did the, the tax-free weekend for hurricanes and we did, we bought a generator and we bought a tarp. And it's like a great big plastic sheet, basically. And it's something you could put on your roof. If something happens to your roof, you don't want water in your house. So basically, it's a just-in-case kind of thing. We don't do sandbags, mostly because we don't need them here. Um, our property is kind of graded away from our house. It kind of slopes, and so we don't need sandbags to keep water from coming into the, into the house. And we um, don't do the um, plywood boards on the windows. It's never been an issue for us. One day it probably will be, and we'll regret saying that. But anyway... Housekeeping items that we do, you know, right before a hurricane. Uh, I like to go grocery shopping. Everybody likes to go grocery shopping. You know, it's like a panic thing. Everybody's like, oh, we need food. Of course you do, you know. So I just, I go grocery shopping, even if it means going to Walmart at one o'clock in the morning. It's kind of nice just to have some things in the house, some food if you're going to be here. Um, I always like to trim our trees and our bushes, you know, and go out and if there are like loose limbs on some of our birds of paradise, those can turn into like spears that could spear our windows. So doing some landscaping before a hurricane, if the pickup is going to be done um, before, is really nice. So I like to kind of keep on top of that in the summer and go out and trim things back as needed so it's not an emergency thing right before a hurricane. Um, we have yard ornaments. We've got like a Mary statue out front. We've got a couple of turtles around like in the front and in the back. Um, so I like to pick up our yard ornaments and also our pool furniture. I like to fold the chairs up and put them away. Um, and then for the pool, I like to make sure that the pool water level is not so high because with hurricanes come rain and I don't like to have our pool pump working so hard on, you know, pumping our pool when it's so full of water because hurricanes have turned our pool basically into an infinity pool before and it's not supposed to be one. So that was really fun. We actually did a bunch of cannonballs to try to get a bunch of that water out of the pool uh, just because it will overflow and it will burn out your pool pump if you're not careful. So we had a lot of fun and actually we have some home videos um, on our phones of us doing some cannonballs. My mom is a champion cannonballer, but um, we ended up just having to bail water out with literally a bucket because we had so much water in the pool after Irma. We make our own dog food, so I like to prepare that ahead of time. I actually need to make some next week. And then obviously fill the gas tanks in all the cars. During hurricane season, I don't like to let my gas tank in my car go under half a tank. I like to keep it above half a tank as much as I can just because if it's half a tank, I can, you know, get by with that. If it's less than that, my car just like goes through gas so fast ever after it reaches half a tank, it's like it just evaporates, it's so quick. Um, so I like to keep them at least at half a tank. I don't like to run them completely out of fuel. So, you know, it's easier to kind of get fuel that way. And then immediately, right before hurricanes, lock the windows. Locking the windows is so important. During Irma, up here in this room, like these windows were not locked. And so the wind actually worked them up about two or three inches. And we had so much water on this floor the next morning. It was crazy. I thought that like our front door had flooded. Like I thought everything had flooded. It's because the windows weren't locked shut. So that's really important. That's something we've learned. But I think that's all I've got to talk about. You know, like preparing for a hurricane is kind of fun. You know, down here they have hurricane parties. So, of course, we have beer and wine and liquor and, you know, we've, we've done a charcuterie before. So, uh, during a hurricane, I think dur during Irma, we did wine and charcuterie and crackers. And that was really fun because we got rid of all the cheese in the fridge so we didn't have to worry about it going bad. And we had wine and we had a really relaxing night. So, Irma hit us at about like midnight or one o'clock in the morning. And so it was dark outside, so we went to sleep, you know? And of course I woke up in the middle of the night, I was like, wow, it's really windy. Of course it was, because there was literally a hurricane over at the top of our house. But it was really nice, like a relaxing experience, kind of like a night in at home. And we had, you know, set a couple of these lanterns out and burned a couple of candles. And I read a book out loud, and I think it was, like Christmas tales or something. It was so weird because it was 
not Christmas time, but it was really fun and it was like a family bonding experience. So um, yeah, board games are another great thing to do. Puzzles during a hurricane because you don't need power for that. Movies are out, obviously. Um, streaming is out. And I remember I was doing homework right before Irma trying to get homework done because I didn't know how long our internet was going to be out. So yeah, those are just some things that I like to think about during hurricane season. I don't know if you're going to find this interesting or helpful. Um, but I did want to reinforce the idea one more time. If you live in Florida, hurricane tax holiday is coming up May 28th to June 6th. Go buy the stuff you need if you need stuff and check your batteries. Like if your batteries are old, check and make sure they work. Put them in like a, I don't know, TV remote or something just to see, make sure they work. Also, make sure all the batteries in your flashlights work too because I don't I didn't talk about flash flashlights we keep those in a different place but they can be a little more handy than lanterns sometimes these are great for ambient lighting not directional lighting so anyway I'm done talking about that I hope hope you found this interesting or helpful useful in some way shape or form but anyway you guys will see me in another video really really soon